In this video, I'll show you the gear I take on short flights, as well as some additions to help make longer flights more bearable. For short flights under about two hours, my strategy is to pack everything I need for the flight in a small pouch or day pack and put it somewhere that's easy to get to when I board the plane. This way all your gear is together, everything is organized and easy to find, and you can quickly transfer the pouch right back into your main travel bag when you land. And because most of this is just going to be your everyday carry gear anyway, you can hit the ground running when you get to your destination. I'll choose a different size bag depending on the length of the flight and what I'm carrying in it. For shorter flights, I'll go with a small tech pouch. For longer flights, I'll use a packable day pack. The pouch I've been using recently is the Evergoods Cap One Civic Access Pouch. It's a small, foldable, one liter pouch. It works perfectly for air travel and everyday carry. I featured the Cap One recently on an individual review as well as my gear roundup for 2023, so definitely check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Jumping into the gear for short flights, the thing that I'll take with me before almost anything else is a set of noise canceling earbuds. The ones I have here are the Google Pixel Buds Pro. These do a great job on reducing generic background noise in the plane, other passengers' conversations. They're also essential if you want to link your phone or tablet so you can listen to music or watch movies. An alternative to earbuds if you just want the noise reduction is to take a set of foam earplugs. I'll generally carry both because the plugs take up almost no space and are usually more comfortable in my ears for sleeping. If your plane has a TV in the seat, another piece of gear that takes up virtually no space or weight is the Airfly Pro. This little gadget plugs into the aux port on the TV. It transmits audio to your earbuds. And if you're not traveling alone, the pro version that I have here will transmit to two devices simultaneously. And even if your flight is short, it's always a good idea to arrive at your destination with your devices fully charged. So I always take a battery pack and a charge cord. This is the in-charge six-in-one plug. It's gonna charge anything that has any combination of USB-A, C, or lightning charge ports. I'll also bring a battery pack in case there isn't a seat plug or if I just need to charge this thing. This is the Nightcore NB10000. It's slim, so it fits well into pouches. This thing's good for about two charges on my phone. One thing I've been taking lately that I've been finding incredibly useful is a small USB-C rechargeable flashlight. All I've really used it so far on planes is to look for stuff that I've dropped below my feet, but it has a lot of other uses. This is the Aurora 28. It's incredibly lightweight, has a variety of brightnesses. It's got a red and a blue blinking light. You could also use this as a reading light if you don't want to turn on the overhead. A few things I take for personal hygiene, a bottle of hand sanitizer or wet wipes work well. It's pretty self-explanatory, but keeping yourself clean, especially in busy airplanes or airports, is essential to make sure you don't get sick on your trip. For some reason, I always get a runny nose when I find myself stuck in the window seat. Bring a small pack of travel tissues is a must for me. You can also use these as napkins or with a hand sanitizer for wiping down surfaces if you don't have wipes. Lip balm goes with me pretty much everywhere. After living in drier climates, I prefer lip balms with a twist tube because you know these aren't gonna leak or melt in your bag. I'll generally carry a larger pill container in my toiletry kit, but for everyday carry and air travel, I like to bring a separate kind of mini container where I can just put a few pills in case I need them. Usually for me, that's gonna be ibuprofen or Dramamine. For some reason, I get almost immediately sleepy after takeoff, even on short flights, so I'll pretty much always carry a small sleep mask in case I feel like dozing off. I use the smallest one that I found, just really tiny, basic one. This is what they give you in the complimentary goodies on some of the longer international flights. Next to small notebook, pen, pencil. I don't always use this, but I found it to be essential in many travel situations. I find it especially helpful to have addresses, currency conversions, phrases written out ahead of time. It's also good to have something to write in and take notes when I'm tired of looking at my phone. The last thing I'll pack into my flight pouch is a small snack, depending on the length of flight. Short flights usually just take a granola bar or maybe a bag of nuts. And then obviously the things that you're gonna have in your pockets when you get on the plane, like your travel wallet and your phone. And then all the gear that I just showed you laid out in my little Cap One travel pouch here, all ready to go. Now some additional gear for longer flights, think overnight international. Everything that I just showed you is pretty much gonna be the same, but I'll add a few extra items and I'll take them in a packable day pack in addition to that pouch. My strategy here is almost identical to short flights. I'll pack my gear ahead of time into the day pack and store it somewhere in my main travel bag where I can easily get to it on the plane. The extra gear I take is gonna be dependent on the length of the flight and the available amenities. Some of the stuff that I'm including here may be available on some longer international flights, so it's always a good idea to figure out what they have available before you show up at the airport. 
The first extra thing I always take with me is a water bottle. Planes are really dry and you always need something to supplement the water they give you on the plane. A few options that I think work great. Memo bottle, this thing is slim so it's gonna fit well in the seat back pocket. The Hydra Pack, this thing is collapsible, doesn't take up as much space. Hydra Flask, this is the trail version. This is gonna be a lot lighter. And then something, this is a little water bottle you can buy at the store in an airport. This thing is incredibly lightweight, very dentable, but also extremely cheap. Next, I'll always bring my e-reader. This is the Books by Onyx, fully stocked out with reading material for a long flight. I like to switch between reading, listening to podcasts, and watching movies to keep myself entertained, and this gives me all three options. Next thing I might bring is a neck pillow. These are difficult for minimalist travelers because they take up a lot of room for such a small amount of use. Several companies sell a packing cube tubes that they clip on in the ends and you can use them as a neck pillow, but I haven't tried these because none of them look very comfortable. I've been experimenting with an option that I think is promising. You take a regular neck pillow like this one from Cabo. It has a removable cloth covering that's intended to be taken out and washed. So what we're gonna do is just unzip the back section and pull out the foam pillow that they gave you and then you're gonna take this empty pillowcase sack and use it to fill out with clothes from your travel bag. And just to show you what this looks like, it's the foam padding. This is just the pillowcase. It has a little Velcro strap in here. It's actually the chin strap, but it works also well for rolling this thing up and keeping it nice and small. So here's that thing that I stuffed with a puffy jacket, took out the foam. I really like this because it's almost as comfortable as the original pillow. This thing is a lot softer and those weird tubes. And this thing is already in the shape of a neck pillow. So I found out it actually works really well. while taking up virtually no weight or space in your pack. Next, sometimes it's nice to have a blanket that's more comfortable than the little tiny one they give you on long flights. And for this, I find the gravel travel blanket works really well. This one doubles as a pillow, the soft side here when you take it out of the compression case. This one gets quite large, has little pockets down here for sticking your feet in and a little button snap on here in the top to keep it from sliding off. Next, I think it's important to consider what you're taking in your pedal bottle. For me, this is gonna be the same vessel as for long flights, but I might consider bringing something that's gonna help me sleep better. Some very common options for this will be Dramamine, melatonin, and or magnesium. And for long flights, you definitely wanna up your snack game. Airlines usually feed you, but it's not always very much and it's not always very good. You're allowed to take virtually anything onto an airplane. Just make sure you don't try to sneak a ham sandwich back into the US. They will take it from you for sure. But for me, snacks, sandwiches, chips, cheese, nuts, anything filling that's gonna get you through your flight. That's all I have for essential minimalist gear for short and long flights. Hopefully you found something that was gonna be useful in here. If you have anything that you like to use that I didn't mention, please bring it up in the comments below. I'd love to see your suggestions. And again, thanks for watching.